so hey everyone I wanted to just reach out because I have some concerns two days ago I was laying in the bed and I was just scrolling through YouTube and just looking at something you know I wanted to watch something spiritual something related to end time and I kept seeing things like on MSN and CNN and other uh, podcasts and other people's stories and videos and what I started learning is that the algorithm on my YouTube it kept talking about things like you know the demon face syndrome and aliens and simulation suns and moons and um, the shutdown of all of these stores you know what I'm saying? From the food industry to the clothes industry to much more. And it just seems like 2024 is taking one of the greatest hits ever on the downfall of what we're used to. Now, I know things changed in 2020 um, just suddenly, but 2024 is a shocker for me. And as I was laying in a bed, I was like, this is too much, like too much mentally. Like I've already got to go through the hassles and stress of just living day to day in this world, just off of my own things that I deal with on a day to day basis. But to go on social media, especially TikTok, a lot of YouTube, some people share things from Facebook. Are you actually paying attention? When I say that, I'm not just saying just watching it and like, oh shoot, look at this. But the things that we used to watch on the movies years ago, it's the exact same thing that we're dealing with today in reality. Like the Jetsons from a long time ago, that, that was an idea that we would say would never happen back then. But look at it now. We're living in like a Jetson world with horror and thriller attached to it. <laughs> so I'm like, this is too much. And so I was praying to the Lord. And I said, hey, you know, I'm exhausted mentally just because of the things that's going on, like on a day to day, them spotting, what is it, a giant or giants or something in Las Vegas. And then the the so-called shadows in Miami this was this year these orbs floating around the world certain people get to witness that these catastrophic tornadoes that's in diverse places that the Bible speaks of places where people have never witnessed that type of catastrophic weather ever in life they're anticipating the worst hurricane season this year um wildfires floods oh my gosh and then they're encouraging people to run to the grocery store and get all this food and get prepared if i'm having a flood there's no way i'm carrying cans and stuff trying to float and <laughs> You know, I don't know. It's 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 a bit much. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit much. And then you guys are they're they're eliminating homelessness. They're making it against the law to be homeless. And then they're raising the rent and mortgages. The food is high. And then nothing as far as our pay scale increases. And if the pay scale does increase, and so I think my husband was telling me they're trying to make minimum wage fifty dollars. It it's going to line up with everything that went high anyway. So it's still going to be like you're making $15 an hour or less. So it doesn't matter. It's just psychological, the things that they're doing. Then you want to cut the Lyft, Uber, DoorDash, Uber Eats. You, you don't want people to have side hustles anymore. And you want to make this world where everybody makes the same amount of money, do the same thing, and we're going to like it. <laughs> I, I just don't understand the elections. You're really not seeing any elections going on. Back in the day, all you saw was signs and campaigning, commercials. But then again, we don't watch regular TV no more. Maybe it is all going on and we're just stuck into our movies and our zones and TikToks that we don't pay attention. But I haven't seen anything on anyone's lawn 
or just on stores or anything. I haven't seen anything. It's beginning to be a bit much. And I know I'm in spirit because the Lord says you have to stay in spirit. You can't have fear and faith all together. There's no, there's no two, com they can't, they can't combine. They can't, they can't live with each other. You know what I'm saying? So I have the spirit. And if I wasn't in spirit, this stuff would undertake me like to the point of what do I do? Do I prepare myself so much that I'm equipped and I'm bombarded in my house with the essentials needed to protect myself at all costs? I mean, you let go and let God, right? It's, it's a lot going on. And then, you know, they're talking about how the sun is fake and how the weather is orchestrated, and which it probably is. And it's it's probably um, guided and ran by what the mindset of, of the demons. And then we have all this, um, I don't know, the people telling people to get a bunker for what? You know, I don't want to be underground for nothing. I just feel trapped. You know, I don't want to be underground. I want to live off the grid, but I'm watching and paying attention to the wildlife. In the Bible, it says wildlife would kill a third of humanity. And I'm like, well, do I want to really live off the grid? Because these alligators are getting atrocious. These bears are getting atrocious. I mean, these sharks and these waters are getting atrocious. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't win for losing. I mean, it's already pre-designed that Half of a, or a third of us is going to be undertaken by some type of wildlife. Um, I don't know what to do. You know, you can't rely on the government or anything like that because they're the main culprit behind what's going on here. Even though they're not the masterminds because what's possessing them is, is the masterminds behind it. But at the same time, they've confirmed as a fact that... We are living amongst aliens and UFOs and all of this stuff. And where they at? I mean, I'm not looking for them to, you know what I'm saying, pop up at my house or at my job. But how come y'all see them? And how come they only reveal themselves to certain people? You know, it's, I don't know. My, my thing is stay prayed up. Keep your faith. Don't have fear. Keep your faith at all costs. The Lord says that if he can take care of a sparrow, Know that he can take care of you too. So have faith in that. Like start fasting too. Get your body ready for some days that you might go without food, water, and things of that nature. That way you can be spiritually in tune with the Lord and know that he's got you. You know, so I just say stay prayed up. Pay attention to what's going on. Don't just look at it from your perspective. Look at it from a spiritual eye. There's a lot going on in this atmosphere this year. You know what I'm saying? This year alone. And so pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. They are lining up. Things are lining up the way they need to. That's all I've got to say.